I, I visited another area at the site, and there was a lot of work going on. And here we are. We're several days into this, this operation. And um, if any of you have ever seen, uh, you know, a car accident, a, a serious car accident or a, or a, or a, a building fire, and you, you, see a, you see responders show up in that first 15 or 20 minutes, and you see lots and lots of activity <coughs> going on all at once. Everybody's working. Everybody has a job to do, and they're hustling around. And that's what I saw out there today. I saw everybody just feverishly working extremely hard to, to move debris. Uh, you know, tractors working, dog teams going, um, and 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 they they have incredible odds that you know, uh, it, it's just unimaginable the conditions out there that they're dealing with. You know, they've got now it's rain today, so the material that kind of firmed up in places yesterday is now turning into just kind of like mud. It's almost like walking on ice in places. I went out there myself and almost slipped and fell several times, and um, and so what what what's going on is. The dogs are going out there. And when the dogs get a hit in an area, in some cases, we utilize sophisticated electronic equipment like cameras that can get down into void spaces and look. And they'll usually do that first and utilize listening devices. Then we get teams in there and, and, and they're removing stuff with their hands if they can. And then they get those small traco bobcats, those mini trackos in there and they'll start slowly moving moving stuff out of the way to to uncover people that that, that we're looking for and so it's just slow tedious work um, there was a car out there and and you know when I pictured this slide I pictured you know vehicles parked there and, if, and and if somebody was in their vehicle when the mudslide came on that we would just dig through the mud and pull them out of their car and they'd be okay but what we're finding is these vehicles are like twisted and tore up into like pieces you know i saw a car out there and i saw one one piece of the car like an eighth of the car and it was just all twisted and and, and uh it it's it's it is just amazing the magnitude and the force that this slide has created and what it has done and it's and it's not just done that to cars it's done that to 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 these buildings and so you know carpeting and photo albums and vehicles and boats and wood piles and all these things and then all this mud that's heavy and it's just a slow slow process um, and very 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 challenging